Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another vloggy vlog. Thank you. Welcome to another vloggy vlog. Thank you. Uh, and uh, my buddy's bill broke down, unfortunately. Day three, uh, about a thousand miles into the trip, maybe a little more. And uh, his rear bearing, like all of a sudden, he started. The thing is, I rode that bike today, going like a fucking hundred more, maybe. And uh, he, uh, my buddy Steve behind me, he mentioned that he felt uh, a little bit of a vibration or steering issues. We thought it was a front problem with the front, with the bearings and the wheel or steering column or something. That then we looked at the back, and the belt was halfway off. You know, it was hanging off a little bit. And then we look down and then the bearing, the bearing, the, the right side bearing is chewed up, shattered on the inside and everything shaved out and everything. So it's fucking bad. So, and that's my buddy Steve. I'm about to connect with him on the center. Let's see if it works. doing a little vlog about the situation at hand so basically uh, we are it's Monday and uh, the mechanic probably will not be able to work on it until Thursday we're going to this local place that works on Harley's and such and uh, the part could probably get here tomorrow or day after probably not even tomorrow at this point because it's five o'clock I mean um, so we're gonna have to make decisions whether we leave our buddy behind and carry on. Yep. But we can chill here tonight. Yep. He definitely he definitely uh, wants us to leave him behind. He mentioned it like five separate times, like, oh I don't wanna I don't want to fuck up the rest of the ride. You guys go ahead, you guys go ahead. And the the worst part is that that Buell broke down twice before. My buddy Steve on the R90 right here, he went uh, to Tennessee with him before the Tale of the Dragon and unfortunately they didn't make it there because of uh, electrical issues. And then what, what was his other issues before? Like his kickstand fell off? <laughs> no, but what was his other issue? You said this is a third strike. What was the first or second strike? Yeah, but but the worst part is that we called this tow truck, and it was uh, and they told us it's gonna take three hours, so we canceled it. We thought, and then some really nice, awesome dude with a car or the truck drove by, and offered to help us in half an hour. And one minute later, this fucking guy shows up, and loads it. Two minutes later, and now five minutes later, we're gone, and now that poor guy is gonna, you know come back one of us probably could have stayed there but we don't know where we're going you know exactly yep so anyway so we literally got too much help at once yeah believe it or not and then that guy uh right exactly I 100% would have been like forget it we're good you know yep they all oh, 100% they stink think so anyway that's our situation I, I did thank that guy and I said nice things to him when I, I was like this is amazing you're blessing us and shit and uh, so he does know we took the other option not without care so he'll be okay thank you man I will I, I will drink a beer to that guy tonight whoever you are you beautiful soul See, that's the motorcycle love, because that guy obviously rides motorcycles, and but you know he's gonna be ha he's gonna be he's gonna be upset for a second, but then he's gonna be happy that he doesn't have to drive us here, there, and everywhere. You know, he's gonna be like, you know, good, I wasted some time, but I don't have to waste another hour. 
so all good anywho we are on a beautiful countryside in New Brunswick Canada and the road trip took a little turn and a twist as expected but we're still gonna make it to the fucking Cobat Trek Cobat 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 Cabot 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 fucking trail Cabot how can I what can I rhyme with Cabot Rabbit Cabot Rabbit what can I rhyme that's perverted with Cabot uh Rabbit Rabbit Cabot <laughs> uh Labbit Mabbit let's watch out for wildlife cause I have not seen a rabbit's vagina. How does it look? Oh, you forgot. There's been a lot of really great humor in this ride, so that's one good thing about this Canada trip. So this is day three. We're nearing the end of it. What time is it, like five right now? Which one? Oh, I forgot. That's, that's something good. I'm sure it was probably about sexy time of some sort. No, not development. Development? No, <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, you're like Benjamin Button? <laughs> Just mentally? Because <laughs> he was the opposite, he was like physically. Oh, yeah, let's hang back a little, that's stinky. Benja you're the Benjamin Button of mental development. I don't know, right now it's not as funny as yesterday. I feel like it was something more snappier, more wittier. But yeah, that guy is definitely... The, the, yeah, you're right though, that guy who was offered us to help is gonna like, meet this dude at a bar. And they're gonna be like, that's New Yorkers for you. <laughs> Ungrateful pricks. Uh, are we going away from uh, Prince Edward? Oh, I guess you don't know. Right, true. Right. Beautiful. Oh, I hear it. I hear the corn popping, it's true. I hear the old corn popping. We might even be in town now. Quite possibly. Yo. Anywho, this is, this is, yeah. crazy but you know what I really thought look at that truck that's a lifted dually yeah it's insane no but I really thought that his Buell was gonna be bulletproof because he fucking obsessed over it before the ride you know he really went over everything changed this and that new tires brake pads oil change everything and then just fucking yeah and then I just shit the bed Yeah, it's a goddamn shame. Yeah. No, because we're going to be like, trying to make him feel better. Like, subconsciously, we're going to be like, dude, it's fine, dude, you know? And he's like, no, it's not. <laughs> right, let's just pick on him and be mean. Let's just make Harley jokes for the rest of the night. Fucking ruthless. Oh, look, motorcycle danger. Let's yeah, let's hang back because we don't want fucking dust in our face as well as fumes. Yeah. Which truck? What are you talking about? No, we're fine. There. No, I want to follow this guy as hard as I can. All right, I'm going to go slow. It's hard. Um, did I get you hard? Alright, is he turning right or left, you think? Left, I'd say. I, I can't tell, but I'd say left. 
Yeah, because right, he would have went right. Whoa, whoa, sorry. A little rock action there. All right, we're good. Still, still recording, so that's part of the fun. Nice. Well, we might have to do a little bit of highway tomorrow. Yeah. There we go. We got to be close at this point. <sighs> Mad open bee. Yep. Because I don't think he's going to want to stay here by himself for three nights, four nights. I think he's going to try to arrange bike shipping and I think he's going to take the bike now and try to it. Or maybe they're going to ship the bike and not even fix it. Ship it back to Brooklyn right away. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and fix it back in Brooklyn. That's what I'm saying. He can fix it in his fucking garage by himself for cheap, for free. Because here it might be like $300 or $500. Who fucking knows? Plus, they might not even know exactly what's happening. And... Right. And then he's stuck here for another three days. Alright. Well, we can... Pro yeah. I'm gonna say, like, leave it here overnight. Tomorrow morning, I ran shipping. Well, yeah, because the fact that he said they're slammed and they won't even be able to work on it till Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're being honest. It's probably a tiny little shop. It's probably like three dudes or two dudes, you know? Right. So, that's that. Fucking sucks. I mean, it can happen to anybody. <laughs> you know, this trip is not, it's, this trip is not over at all. We st still got like 2,000 miles to go. Close to. But it's definitely fucking hot. I tell you that much right now. It's about 85 degrees right now, right? You want It's probably a little less. I'd say 83. Oh shit, it's more. Yeah, that's dope. That is a good color. And it's a nice truck too. Yeah, that guy is not going to be too upset because he's not going to want to drive all the way out here anyway, you know? Fuck that. I wonder what that's going to be on the left. A mall? A business situation? Yeah. Fucking... There we go. We're here. Oh, look. They have a huge Harley sign. Alright. So we're here. Sorry, I didn't signal. Alright. Let's park. Right there. Pull in. Alright, I'll be next to you. I'm gonna take up a whole spot because I'm because I'm a Ducati, I'm a douchebag. Right? Hey, hey, it was supposed to be a joke. You're, you were supposed to say, no, 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 you're such a cool guy. Can I... Can, now you can't get a sticker. Now? You want a sticker? No, look. Yeah, you want a sticker? There's your sticker. I'm 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 shutting this vlog off. This is this is bullshit. So right now we're at a Harley Space place in uh, Miramachi, New Brunswick, um, and they're looking at the axle and everything.
well, we're going to figure out what to do soon.